Hello, Wojciech Pietrzak again. The fourth ter run, turn, sorry, round of the Twilight Struggle Online World Cup 2022. I got USSR for the third time and my opponent is Lu Hu. And this is kinda sorta awful hand if I get perched. <coughs> but otherwise it can be a great hand if not defected due to Vietnam revolts followed by duck and cover coup in Iran giving me huge things in Asia although the hand is rather cheap 15 points and Europe scoring is a must and if he decides to take France I have to accept losing Europe Okay, so this was kind of sort of unlucky. Still better than Perch here. And, but this was lucky because it didn't leave him a decent counter. It would be very nice to break West Germany, <coughs> threatening France. Whoa! Okay, I. For a moment, I thought he didn't want to protect Leba uh, Israel. He did, but failed. And I think this is a good moment to try to cool Lebanon. Yep. Yeah, this defecting Vietnam revolts was quite a sort of strong because now he gets access to Thailand, which I don't have. <laughs> so it doesn't look very good in Asia. I'd like him to cool a banner and fail now, so I could degrade DEFCON, then score Europe and... Hmm. Yep, add 5. Okay, let's score Europe now in this case. So things to do, the great DEFCON, put two in South Korea and one in Iran, and start crawling to Asia, or put two in South Korea and one in Afghanistan if Asia requires something urgent. Hold card? Hmm, maybe blockade. Mr. Big Spender. Hmm. Okay. Asia domination looks unstoppable now. So let's just ignore it. <laughs> yep. At least he's vulnerable to Korean War now. <coughs> and of course, Middle East looks like a dream. And is the only remaining non scored region.
But indeed, this Vietnam Revolt's defecting was a kind of kind of sort of strong. Maybe not strong uh, in the meaning of a uh, brilliant move, <coughs> but strong in that its effect is meaningful. Okay, let's attempt to space it. Two points are always good. Now Middle East looks great and it's not so easy to get rid of CIA now. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, another cheap hand. Hmm. And the one I'm playing until the very end. So, socialist governments, hmm, not very convincing. First of all, I really want to have as many points here as I could. So, let's just headline captured Nazi scientist. Yeah, as many points as I could. As I said, <coughs> he didn't go to Zaire, and this should be punished on the spot. And I'm not complaining about the roll, but I used a 2 ops card to just to have my meal ups. Truman goes next, hoping for him to grab me off Yugoslavia, then independent threats go free. Yeah. If he takes Egypt, it's only for a while until Nasser comes, so I won't probably take Egypt if he goes to Libya. Instead, I'd rather take Iraq. And yeah, let him temporarily draw Middle East after taking Egypt. <coughs> because of course I don't have enough ops. to do anything more. <coughs> he didn't even try. Just took Libya and that was all. Hmm, maybe I could keep five year plan in hand. I didn't see CIA, so I'd rather not. Another thing I could do would be to play the China card, keeping both you and intervention five-year plan. And I th think this might be better. Let's grab some meaningful ops from Europe. I am not intending to trigger the event of blockade this turn anyway. 
So blockade is probably going to Pakistan, followed by the China card to India and Pakistan. I should do what he didn't and takes a year. Hmm. Yeah. Or take France. Since Truman is gone for good. Yeah. Take France, take Zaire with blockade. And be happy with UN and five year plan. If Asia or CIA comes. And expected Nasser. And if CIA comes to his hand, oh well, I lose the air. So now Europe depends on who gets the Marshall Plan, Korean War. Hmm. Boom. Okay, this Asia may be hurtful. about defectors but he knows I have CIA he may think I'd like to headline it and decal looks juicy I take a risk of this one and let's see what happens hmm Yet another purge. Hmm. Let's retake presence in Asia. Following it with a coup attempt in Libya. Not convincing, speaking about the result. Okay, so CIA to be UN intervened, five year plan to be played last, board to be suffered, there. Yeah, he has Marshall and NATO, so he's Mr. Big Spender this turn. And the China card if he wants to take North Korea. One big spending. Yeah, I guess that's enough for me to not fighting too much there. Hmm.
grabbing access. Of course he's gonna retake it. Maybe I should have done it with four moves and resolution. Well, irrelevant. He did his job anyway. Okay, then, so... Now you see how game-changing this defecting of Vietnam revolts was. and he drew this one I don't like you now okay so one goes here nuclear test bomb is three more to Saudi Arabia I guess and then five year plan do know South Africa. Not so fast, my friend. Hmm. He still has Marshall and the China card. Let's put all here. What's your st huh. huh. That looks nice. It looks much less promising. Oh well, okay. Defcon warning about what? All right, not convincing as of the outcome of the early war. Panama, yep. Damn it. Central America scoring and Junta all oh, and Middle East scoring. Okay. Let's headline Junta just to gain access. I'll follow it with Cooing Libya, followed by Cooing Libya with U2 incident. Then I'll attempt to grab, then I probably score Middle East, freeing shuttle diplomacy. Colonial Rare Guards is a space race candidate. So is John Paul, if I'm able to. Very many things depend on the coup result now. But I have one point to few.
to be able I have two points, too few to be able to control Middle East I'm probably unable even to score domination versus no presence because I rolled one too few I needed a five, I rolled a four Norad is an interesting choice it has multiple targets but only several of them looks promise, look promising more to the point <laughs> okay this is just one more here Only several of them look promising, and he still needs to put two more in Canada to make it working. Now after Middle East I have shuttle diplomacy to Uruguay and Colombia. making it sure to dominate South America unless of course some things like brush war or, or ABM or Voice of America happen but in a normal gameplay mm -hmm. I didn't like this move too non-aggressive as for the China card The question remains about Kennedy. This justifies the fact of playing the China card, but it was still far too non aggressive as for what it should be, what it should have been. Sorry. I guess I'm losing points in Southeast Asia, but there aren't too many to lose, I guess, even if I'm I lose two more here. And this is now worth quite much, although after coup in Colombia it's no longer. But maybe I messed up with his plans to some extent. <coughs> I need victory points because the main sources are, after I score South America, the main sources I kind of sort of exhausted. Central America, however, is quite volatile. Europe should be quite safe for a while. Norad is not particularly painful for a while and maybe I'm lucky with Quagmire. Cultural gone. Nixon and Usuri not. Hmm, this is what I wanted to avoid. I certainly need more from South America, so just drop what you have and... Oh, I have Central America, not South America. Damn! 
I must say this is a blunder I didn't commit for a while. I I missed what scoring I had. He discarded this tall, which I should have remembered about. Okay, this was this was blunder. The whole turn was blunder because I just looked at the scoring and I was sure it was another scoring in my hand. <laughs> it's more funny than annoying. Now that Africa's gone, it's dominated by me, but damn it! Okay, but South America can still be a good source of points, provided it comes in a cooperation with other good opportunities. Unbelievable what I did. But okay, as of good things, Kennedy is gone and Long Gunman is not. I know where Long Gunman went actually. Let it go this way, followed by Alliance for Progress coup in Venezuela. This was kind of more or less expected that it could end up this way. And this is a nice result. <laughs> Although, of course, now this Norad is less likable. Special relationship will break my friends. Unless I play it to UK, or unless he doesn't go to France now. OAS looks like a natural hold card. So if I space John Paul and I am not able to space bear trap, oh well. Priorities. I think South America is a priority. It would be nice to grab Thailand with brush war. It would also be nice to grab points with arms race, although it's not so high on my priority list. Mm. 
This was useful to roll high. In this case, let's go here, allowing him to go to France, yep. Brazil itself would be worth four points if flipped. So it's not very useful. Lech. Okay, at least now I know I have only one attempt here. In this case, my priorities shift. And it was a very good decision, because what I wrote would be enough, would, was enough against Brazil, but would not be enough against Thailand. Now, arms races were three points now, or three more points in case of South America scoring two more points. Yeah, so it's obvious that playing it for event makes more sense than playing it into Chile. <laughs> but this was a very dubious move and somewhat desperate. Yeah, I should play it sooner. Oh, because I forgot that I actually have Brezhnev active. I keep forgetting too many things this game, and I don't like it. OPEC, Cambridge, 5, Suez Crisis, Allende. Hmm. So I put three in Argentina, although I didn't need it, of course. <sighs> okay, let's at least make this use <laughs> of my blundering. And let's then start playing with much more awareness than so far. Because it's not even funny. Nothing that I can do about that. And frankly speaking, not convincing. I mean, normally Us Usuri puts much more pressure. And if he couldn't do it, it was just an ops play. <coughs> okay, let's now hope South America is actually going to be scored. Defectors are still somewhere looming. Yeah, I feel like as if I had totally wasted the power of Brezhnev. Mm -hmm. But this is gonna cost you.
So now that Naito is inactive... I think Missile Envy is the greatest headline now. I expect a BN Treaty or Grain Sales, okay, but in this case Grain Sales is even less harmful than ABM and I may as well get ABM in return for Missile Envy. I got Flower Power actually. Okay, so let's start from quagmiring you. Cancelling Norad. As of my hand, Voice of America is of course nasty. Puppets are nasty. Bear Trap is nasty. And the fact that he escaped so early is nasty. Should I realign West Germany, risking that he realigns France? I shouldn't. He can realign France anyway, with ABM. <laughs> but let's force him to do it to some point. Damn it! I needed a 3. Come on. I'm playing the entire hand, so I guess I will be playing Bird Trap on myself, and I certainly don't want to do it when Defcon is so high and he still has a BM Treaty in his hand. But I couldn't do anything about him. If he plays ABM Treaty now, realigning France, there's nothing I could do about it. Of course, I may play Bear Trap to coup Venezuela once again. Yeah. This was an exaggeration. Camp David it is <laughs> because I need lowering Defcon before playing Bertrap on myself. Quite fortunately it didn't work too good for him. And quite fortunately I rolled a three which kind of sort of forces him to respond <laughs> and I will take a risk of being forced to discard liberation theology he's cooing where? Venezuela failed, yes this is what I needed I needed him to fail Now I need to lower DEFCON once again. And this looks a great target. And now Voice of America. And at last Puppets. He doesn't have an easy way to deny my American, South American control. My blunder may now work quite good, because if he coups Uruguay getting access here, it's not so easy for him to break Argentina. Panama Canal is triggered. OAS is gone so far. There is certainly gonna be a reshuffle after the juicy Pahlavi and the juicy uh, Kennedy. Colombia is very hard to be cooed because Che did his job 
and it was actually very meaningful that I rolled highly there. Europe is a pain, but nothing that can be done about it. This is gone. What about Truman? Truman is gone, so so far so good. Yeah, Europe is a pain as expected. Let's hope it doesn't come back. Usuri gone, Nixon gone, cultural gone, Chin China in my hand. Europe and Asia look tragic. The rest of the world looks good. Hmm. UN intervention and CIA. He has defectors. South America scoring. I don't want it to be defected. This is something which, if defected, is painless. Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay. I should be able to remove it now, actually. No. Let's not do it this way in this case, because it may backfire. Let's just score it because he may easily have some nasty things like brush war. Or this stuff. My problem is that I can't defend Europe. I really want him to have it now, because once it's gone, I'm not risking losing due to Euro scoring, Euro control prior to the final scoring. And maybe I'm lucky with blockade hitting his hand it's very un probable but maybe just maybe you two incident <laughs> I'm happy to gain one more
game I'm happy to see it but this couldn't be helped okay let's now play this event and just try to get rid of him from Costa Rica didn't work so let's cancel Cuban Missile Crisis if he allows me to do it He doesn't. Or he did. Hmm. Let's play it this way. No fighting for blockade anymore. But I sense multiple points being at stake, depending on whether I can coup or not. And removing his presence in Central America leaves him in a position where his choice between cooing and repairing is not so straightforward. Europe is his best chance now and I must say it's a good one. War games is my best chance now. And I also must say it's a good one. After all, my chance of drawing war games isn't worse than his chance of drawing Regan. Besides, I need only this one, and he needs. Euro scoring as a follow up. Blech. Okay, Fidel is quite straightforward. What can I do in Asia? except nothing. Okay, it's funny or very funny to see solidarity so useless. But I start fearing about Europe, really. Poland is at zero in realignments now and I feel if given chance I should try it with Muslim revolution anyway. Latin American debt crisis is funnily useless. Things I could do would be to try 
to drop Defcon. Maybe I could coup some Asian non battlegrounds. Hmm. Wow. You don't have time to do so many things at once. You have to either realign or repair things like France. But my problem is I run out of cards high enough. I don't want to give you the China card. Yeah, this is so useless. Ah. This is more useless. Just just fail once. Leave this East Germany under my control, so I could drop Defcon by cooing Pakistan. Frankly speaking, I deserved losing this game, taking into account how many stupid things I overlooked. But also, frankly speaking, my opponent isn't playing a convincing Twilight Struggle. His moves are often dubious or even naive to some point. At the very last, <laughs> my life-saving attempt is to coup Italy, but I need a 6, of course, and I need a China card. So which events are so nasty that you don't want to play them? Or so nice that you don't want to waste them on realigning East Germany? Actually, his failure in realigning East Germany can be met with cooing Italy. It both degrades Defcon and hmm, this is the reason.
Mm. No, I need to remain here. Even for the price of the China card. I think he's holding a 4 to be able to take East Germany and France at once. <coughs> Defcon suicide is not at stake now. So he gave me two points just like this. Nobody has military operations so far. Please just have some scorings other than Europe. I won. Damn it! I'm not allowing you to take it in a single move. Please have some scorings. just to lose action rounds. This is meaningless now. What he does with this. But if he has Europe scoring and doesn't have a 4, this is a game changer. Come on, long gun man. The reformer and Iran Iraq war. What's Asia's outcome? Okay, let's grab this meal up. Now I expect you to give me another two points plus one from Long Gunman. I expect him to play Iran Iraq war, regaining European control. Of course, it would be better to play it to the great DEFCON somewhere, gain point. Not allowing Defcon to go to five. I think he can grab grain sales to Soviets. 
I think I can do nothing about it. Come on! I needed exactly this one card to coup it away. Not to the great Defcon right now. Let's make it clear. I can do any I can do absolutely nothing about Europe. Wow. If he has Europe, it's game over. Time to accept it and just try to count on him not having Europe and maybe I'm able to win this game on victory points earlier because I'm losing this game in the final scoring, that's for sure. The funny thing is that East European unrest is completely meaningless now. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time.